Using a tank sprayer with a pump to spray cleaning solutions, pesticides, fertilizers, and deck cleaner, sealers, and stains can make a job easy. The first thing to consider is that you're using the correct tank sprayer for the product that you're dispensing. For example, this sprayer is designed to be used with a bleach solution. If you use the wrong sprayer for your application, you may not get the results you want or you could damage the sprayer. Measure the product that you're using and pour it into the tank or use the markings on the tank to measure the product that you'll be adding. Goggles and other protection is recommended if the product you're using could harm your eyes, lungs, or skin. If required, add water to the rest of the product. Don't fill the tank beyond its capacity marker. You need room for the pump and some air. Air is needed in the tank. That's what gets compressed and creates pressure. Next, lock the pump handle into the body of the pump. Notice that there's two ears on the pump handle. There's two corresponding notches on the body of the pump. Line the two ears on the pump handle up with the notches on the bottom of the pump and push the pump handle down and then turn the pump handle clockwise until it clicks and locks in place. Insert the pump into the tank and turn it clockwise until you meet resistance. Then turn it about a quarter turn to snug it up. With the pump screwed into place and the handle locked down, you can now use the pump handle as a carrying handle. Pressurize the tank. Turn the handle gently counterclockwise until it unlatches. And pump the pump until it becomes difficult to push down. Then push the handle down so that the ears go into the notches and turn the handle clockwise and latch it in place. A few words of caution, don't leave the pressurized tank in the sun. It can cause the contents to expand and possibly explode. Don't store a pressurized tank. Be aware that if there's windy conditions, the spray could blow back onto you or some place where you don't want it to go. Don't stand over the pump when you're pumping. If the pump would fail and explode, it would have an upward trajectory. Squeeze the handle to release the mixture from the sprayer. The nozzle is adjustable. It can go from a fine spray to a steady stream. If you start to lose pressure, give a few pumps. When you're finished using the sprayer, or if you need to refill it, you'll need to relieve the pressure before you can open it up. If you open up the tank, when it's pressurized, the contents of it could spray out on you or in your eyes. If your tank has a pressure release button, you can press that to relieve the pressure. This particular tank doesn't, so you need to hold the nozzle open until the pressure is relieved. When the container is depressurized, point it away from you and lock down the handle Turn the pump counterclockwise.
If they're finished using the pump, fill it with plain water and run some water through it to clean everything out. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.